Science is about giving hope to people. Science is about challenging the impossible and telling people that they may be able to do things that they never thought possible. Então a gente provou que que realmente é, funciona. Isso vale a pena, entendeu? Isso pode é, certeza de um benefício muito grande para a gente. E eu senti muito honrado, muito feliz de poder estar fazendo essa demonstração, é, levar essa esperança para as pessoas que, não, que sonham, que buscam, né, de novamente poder futuramente recuperar é, os seus passos, o seu caminhar, o seu chute, enfim, todas as outras questões. Basically, when I went to the United States and met John uh, Chapin, uh, my idea was to design technology that could look at lots and lots of brain cells simultaneously. I started creating with him and other friends uh, techniques to record, at that time, a few tens of neurons in rats. I spent the next 20 years developing techniques to record what is now the most advanced technology for recording brain activity, close to 2,000 neurons simultaneously in behaving monkeys using wireless technology. So our monkeys now at Duke go around the lab controlling devices uh, just by imagining what they need to do. Until now, you still hear people saying that this part of the brain does this thing, that part of the brain does that thing. John and I had a completely different notion. We thought about the brain as a, a big democracy, where you know lots of cells vote electrically to produce this behavior from different parts of the brain. So this is a, what we call a distributed uh, model of brain function. And, and when I started as a postdoc, that was people hated to actually gain experimental proof of this notion, this idea, this thesis, we had to develop this technology to record from multiple parts of the brain simultaneously and show that there are, you know, a collective, there is a collective action of the brain to generate behaviors. And we also show that there is a mass effect in the brain. So the more neurons you get together uh, collaborating in a function, the better the outcome. <laughs> The central idea for our work is that you have this window of time in which the brain is generating these electrical signals that have to be downloaded down to the periphery of the, of the body to generate an action. And it's in that window of time that people like myself uh, have to act to record these brainstorms, to decode what is embedded in there in terms of motor programs, and to translate these motor programs into digital commands that a device can reproduce. Then we found that we could get signals that could interact with this uh, robotic device in, in a, something that we called 10 years ago when we published this idea, shared control. Shared control is basically a brain-machine interface in which part of the, the high-level decision-making is done by the brain of the subject. But the low-level mechanics is done by the robotic device because robots are good for that. They can reproduce movements very well and they can provide what the subject needs, assuming the subject can generate the decision. And by gathering these signals from the scalp, this decision of I want to move my legs or I want to kick a ball would be transmitted to the robot that the patient is wearing and that would allow the patient to make a, a particular motor behavior. With one caveat that nobody had thought before, is that this exo is completely sensorized. There are sensors for angle, uh, position, pressure, temperature all over the legs. So this information in our approach is delivered back to the subject through a shirt that has active uh, vibrators all over the sleeves. So the patient actually feels in the arms the movement of the leg and the contact with the soil. And by doing that con uh, closed loop control, in a few minutes, the brain creates an illusion as a phantom limb illusion that is the patient's legs which are moving, not the exoskeleton. So in that sense, the exoskeleton is incorporated by the brain as an extension of the patient's body. And that was the key secret of, of the whole thing. Uh, 
a sensação de estar ali, né, é uma sensação muito boa, uma sensação que realmente marcou a minha vida, não só a minha, mas que eu creio de toda a equipe, de todos aqueles também que, que presenciaram ali um dia né, dentro daquele estádio, e outros, enfim, também que estavam assistindo né, por, um, por um veículo assim, de, de informação. E, mas foi bem algo, foi algo muito grandioso, foi algo muito extraordinário mesmo. Sim, the, the kick controlled by Juliano's thoughts and knowing because I ran to him and he was crying and, tell, and told me I felt the kick to stand up in the middle of the stadium and kick the ball for, I mean I, it's going to be difficult to top that so I I'm going to remember that forever no doubt about it <laughs> Eu vou me embora no parque da vila. É.